It is my desire to prove that a biblical marriage is a covenant between the husband and the wife and God, not a paper or traditional ceremony or pastor speaking words, but rather it is that premeditated and pre-prayed over moment when the two come before the Lord and enter into a commitment to use the Bible as a rule book in being husband and wife. Why are they trying to prove it? Uh, to who? For, I mean, for, for what purpose? Because um, it sounds as if they're wanting to say that if there's no, uh, it, that a marriage, when a marriage is consummated through uh, the covenant, a promise to be married, and, and then a consummation, a physical consummation, that you're married, and then if you don't have a certificate or a wedding ceremony, it doesn't matter, you're still married. Well, that is correct. You, you know, in God's eyes, that's correct. However, when you, like for example, when you look at the, the first marriage, Adam and Eve, Adam and Eve became one. They were one because they were together. They were one. They, they, obviously, who, who was going to attend their wedding ceremony? They were the first man and woman. So, But who did Eve have to go prove to, to say, who did she need to have witnesses? She didn't need any witnesses because it was just him, her and Adam anyway and God. So they knew they were married and there was no need for ceremony. Today, in our culture, or any in most cultures even, you, you know, unless you're on some atoll in the Pacific Islands and you're by yourself, today it is necessary to have the certificate, and we recommend certificate of holy matrimony as opposed to a state marriage license which somebody wrote in and asked about. Uh, but that's another subject. Uh, you know, there's, there's many scenarios where it would be necessary to have a certificate, to have witnesses. Um, you know, we could we can make lists of reasons why that would be necessary in this culture, in this society. Uh, you know. But that doesn't mean that if you, uh, you know, for some reason you, you ran away and didn't, didn't do that, that you're not married, but I think that you should do it. You should fortify it. Uh, I mean, in law, uh, we see that uh, out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, it shall be um, established, and that's in the Old Testament. So in the Old Testament law, you need to have, when you, when you complete a, a transaction, for lack of better terminology, when you purchase a piece of real estate, you know, yeah, you gave the guy the money and you live in it. Obviously nobody else is standing there saying that they bought it, you know, if they're not, and, uh, but if they were, you, you would need to have a piece of paper showing, no, see, I bought it, here's the date, here's the witnesses or just witnesses coming around saying, no, I was there, he gave the guy the money, he bought the property fair and square on this date. Uh, you know, so there's definitely a need and a place for witnessing and documents, and, uh, but, but with wisdom. It needs to be done with wisdom in the kingdom of heaven under the jurisdiction of Jesus Christ as we're referring to marriage. Uh, and... Uh, if your calling is the kingdom of heaven, uh, and is in reference to pro probably most anything that you do.